Hi, I'm Ted the Diet Coach, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, junk food and uh, the effects this kind of this kind of style of eating can have uh, with long-term ramifications on your mental health. Ironically, um, this kind of there's a growing body of research these days that is um, scientists are studying uh, the effects of lifestyle components on. Uh, anxiety and depression and these kinds of things, but especially with depression, and it looks uh, the data strongly supports. As a matter of fact, um, very much supports that the more junk food that you eat, the things that are like breads and cereals and, and croissants and bread and crackers and cookies and and junk food like um, hamburgers and and uh, these kinds of things that are so commonly consumed in our culture um, have the more that those foods are consumed, the higher the risk for um, uh, depression is in individuals, and they found that people who, who have um, high risk for depression um, tend to eat more and more junk food. So actually, there's a 40% greater chance of that. So there is a direct correlate, correlate between our lifestyle, what we eat, and how it affects our, our moods and our mental dispositions, but especially um, anxiety and depression, but uh, uh, most significantly depression. And, and my wife, uh, Bernadette, is a nurse practitioner, and I once asked her, what was the most common uh, complaint that people um, ask about when they come into the to to see her as a patient, and um, the and by far hands down seventy five percent of sorts um, complain of depression or anxiety and mostly depression and so they're treated for that and uh, a lot and I would guess my guess would be and this is doesn't this is not um, supported by any data but my guess would be that much of it has to do with lifestyle components how they eat um, how much exercise they get how active they are and these kinds of things so. When looking at your whole life, eating lifestyle, and there is um, a lot of people who support uh, different methodologies of eating and, and those kinds of things, and I, a clean, there's nothing that replaces clean eating. Our bodies respond better to it, our mental states are better, and this, the data supports this. Um, this the research supports this. Um, but also, as a side note, and which I, I actually just posted a, a uh, article, a study up today on my fan page, um, that uh, that's, um, talking about uh, how this affects child development as well. So junk food, they found that uh, pregnant women who, who ate um, junk food, higher amounts of junk food, um, had a higher instance of children who had uh, mood disorders, attention deficit, and depression, and anxiety in their children. And so, and of course, those children also, as they, when they were children and grew up, and if their parents allowed them to eat more and more junk food, they also had an even, an even higher increased risk of depression and anxiety and attention deficit and these kinds of things. So, um, how we eat, especially some of the foods that are available in, so, in such high quantities and so easily available to us in our society, have a deep impact on our, uh, on our culture. So be, uh, eat clean and be positive, and those are the best ways to keep our, our mental states in the best state possible. So this is Tad the Diet Coach saying be positive, and I will see you next time.